About this place, Froggy Land. 100 year old collection of stuffed frogs. Apparently, they are masters of taxidermy here. I don't think that we're enough frog people to pay $10 a person. It's about 10 bucks a person. Um, I mean, I like frogs. I don't really like frogs. But, uh. That's hilarious. Probably too much on our a budget. A man dedicated his life to stuffing frogs. Hey, his legacy lives on. He's been here over 100 years. <laughs> so, frog people, if you want to check out Froggy Land, get on down to Split. Sit here. Can we? I guess. You guess or you know? No. All right, Nikki, what do you got? We got the uh, basically calamari sandwich. I don't know what that is in Croatian. Um, if I didn't say this, we're at a place called Zlatna Ribica. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. A little messy. It's all over your face. Yep. Glad they brought a napkin. But really good. one of the spots I've been doing my runs in in the morning and uh, it's very chill very nice down here in the morning very very few people there's usually a few dudes like back at some of those restaurants we passed just like enjoying a little coffee or whatever but really gorgeous part of the town just you and some yachts yachts Climbing another hill. Well, the same hill. Sort of. Other side. The other, the other way was a little more scenic. But I think gradual hill is better than a bunch of stairs. Do you think? Different strokes for different folks. How you doing? Yeah, it's steep. Yeah, my calves are on fire. My dogs are barking. <laughs> We're almost there. Almost there. I mean, that's the place. That is the place. It is steep. I'm gonna turn around though and show everybody. Like you're gonna turn around and walk backwards? Down the hill? Yeah. Yes. No. You probably can't see, but like, it's pretty steep. There's another path there. 
and we came from a different direction yesterday. But once you get up top, opens up to a nice view of a uh, yeah. dinner now to a place called Villa Spisa? Is that how you I, say it? I think so. Hopefully, uh, I hear it's hard to get a table there and they don't do reservations, so yeah. hopefully we can find a seat. I know, I heard that there's only like eight seats inside and like a couple of tables outside. Um, but it's supposed to be good, cheap eats. Cheap eats. And, uh, and a place locals seem to like. Yes. That's what I've heard. They said if we get lost, we can ask a local and they'll know where we need to go because it can be a little difficult to find. So we'll see if the Googs <laughs> is accurate or not. <laughs> Here it is. Bam. Yeah. Cheers. So, I got the meatballs. Um, I know you're probably supposed to order seafood here, but the guy was saying it's really good. So, I ordered it, and it looks like it maybe comes with like mashed potatoes, honestly. So, let's give it a shot. It's a lot of meatballs, too. Oh, baby. Man, that's a great, like, hearty kind of like beef taste in the in the sauce and the stock. Like, I can see why they serve it with potatoes. Yo, that is a Nick Kennett meal right there. Like, this is just a plate of meat. Look, look at all of these meatballs. That's like at least eight ounces of meatballs right there. Plus potatoes. This was like 10 bucks. Like, this is a good traveler's kind of meal. All right, we're gonna get to eat. Hello. Hello, is this Mario? Yes, yes. Hey, Mario, are you? Not, not good information. We are decided to finish with this season with the sailing. And then we are don't have a boat today. And not more until second season. Ah, no more boats to throw gear, huh? No more boats, yes. Oh, darn. Any any other... Uh, no, you can only... Uh, it's not like a private boat. But that you must pay for about, about three, four hundred euros. Ooh. Okay. Hi. Hey. Uh, what's the next bus stopping in Trogir? 10 o'clock. Okay, two tickets, please. Just got off the bus. Trogir. From Split. The easy, short. Bus ride, about half an hour, and uh, it was pretty crowded. Um, not everybody was wearing masks, if that matters to you. Uh, we were, we're both vaxxed as well, but we're just trying to be extra careful. We're traveling for six months, so.
we doing, babe? We're hungry. So we're gonna go eat some sandwiches that we packed along the river. I know that Nick really wants to eat at a cafe because we kept walking past them and they smelled really good. But we made sandwiches. Yes. I could use some like mayonnaise. Totally. We didn't have any sauce. Not bad though. Yo, though, the Croatian equivalent of like craft singles, way better. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure, like, cheese you buy from a gas station in Europe is going to be better than half of what you can get at a supermarket in the United States. Pretty good. Not bad. <laughs> so these little pastries are called Trogirski ravioli and they are specific to Trogir. They're pastry filled with almonds. Um, the legend has it that a girl, I don't think there was a name for the girl, but a girl got kidnapped and locked in the fortress and a knight rescued her and they got married and she would make him these pastries as their love story. The first half of that is basically the beginning of every fairy tale. Yes, trick, <laughs> <laughs> basically. But we were really excited to be able to get him. So this is our little like after lunch or after lunch treat. So let's see like, what the inside of them looks like. It's basically just like crumbled almonds. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I don't know if they're gonna be sweet at all. So they are sweet, slightly. Sorry, there's a fly on my face. Um, they have a very interesting texture. They're like kind of like the almonds are super, super smooth. So they still kind of have like a, a good crunchy kind of like texture to them. The pastry is really thin. Almost feels like it was mixed with brown sugar. So they're kind of like a savory sweet almost, mm. but they're delicious. I think they're going to pair really nice with our espresso. Nice. Those pastries were amazing. And now, I am caffeinated. He's ready. Which, like back home, I don't really drink caffeine in the middle of the day. But we were starting to feel a little nappy, so I had to cut that out. Now we are headed back to the bus stop, because we've pretty much walked all of Trigir, and we think it's supposed to start raining soon, so we might as well Hop back. Yeah. Well, we almost forgot to end today's vlog. It started raining cats and dogs when we got back to Split, so we decided to go to a little cafe and work for a while. Yep, and then uh, we got some really good dinner at a place called Popeye's. No, not the fried chicken restaurant. Uh, think Popeye the Sailor Man. <laughs> Yes, it was good. It was good. It was really good. They do good, like paninis, sandwiches, pizzas, burgers, and it was very affordable. Yeah. So we're just back at the place now. We packed up our bags and we catch a ferry at 10 a.m.? 10 a.m. 10 a.m. to our next destination. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.